We're live. Hi, welcome to Cajun Cooking TV. I'm, tonight I'm making a cheeseburger meatloaf. If you ever have trouble getting your kids to eat meatloaf, they will love this one. So let's get started. It's really simple. First, I've got six slices of thinly sliced bacon here. We're going to fry this up and make some bacon bits. We've got one and a half pounds of ground beef. We have, um, and this is the 91%, so some people like the 80-20 where it has a little more fat, but um, we like the leaner one. We have two cups of Cajun Trinity. Uh, mine is frozen because I make big batches all at one time. It's onions, bell pepper, and celery. Um, we have some Worcestershire sauce, some Creole mustard, some hot sauce, minced garlic. I have some special um, cheddar cheese here from Whole Foods. It's an Irish cheddar, but you can use a regular sharp cheddar cheese. We have two eggs and some breadcrumbs, and we can't forget Tony Sachery's. We'll be putting some of that in. So we're going to let this bacon cook, and then we're going to come back and saute the Cajun Trinity. So we'll be back in a second. I got my bell pepper and onion and celery, the Cajun Trinity sauteed here, and I just did that in the, um, the bacon drippings. Um, I do want to tell you, you want to be careful. I actually removed the skillet from the heat for a few minutes because I didn't want to put that ice cold Cajun Trinity um, in that bacon drippings. That would have popped all over the place and would have hurt me. So I let it cool for a minute. Now I just want to kind of drain off some of that bacon drippings. Now, one secret I have with meatloaf, and I remember as being a kid, I did not like eating meatloaf because you could see the onions and the bell peppers inside. And um, my grandmother used to always chop hers up really fine or do what I'm about to do is I'm going to let this cool for a second and drain all this out. I'm going to put them in the food processor and get them really small so the kids will not complain that um, they can actually see the bell pepper and onions. That way. I like to mix all the wet ingredients together. And then when I'm trying to combine it with the meat, everything's already mixed together. I don't have to do it then. Then I'm going to cut in two eggs. I'm going to add in a teaspoon or so of minced garlic. And I really only talk about these measurements for you. Usually I just do whatever the site tells me to or what I feel like we need. We're going to do some Creole mustard. Just a little bit of this. We had this today on a sandwich. It was so good. And some Worcestershire sauce. Just a little. Got some Tabasco. This is all the wet ingredients. We're going to mix this up good. Then I'm going to put in the breadcrumbs. Now we've got some plain breadcrumbs here. You can use the Italian breadcrumbs. We've got a half a cup here and let's see how that does. Then I want to put some Tony Sachery's. Not too much. You don't want it too hot. Mix this all up good. And this is going to be our mix to hold the meatloaf together. Woo, pretty meat. Pretty and red. Plop it in a big bowl like that. Now what we're going to do is take our little wet mixture we made here. Now, with your hands, you got to get down into it, and you just got to work this wet mixture into the meat. There's just no other way to do it. I've tried to do it with a spoon, and it just doesn't work. So just get down and dirty in it. Work it through your fingers, and get it all mixed in. Okay, looks like I got it mixed pretty good. And over here, I still need my gloves. I got a big 
baking pan. This is like a 10 by 15 pan baking sheet. I'm going to take out my meat. That's a pound and a half, buddy. And we're going to press it out on a wax piece of wax paper. We want to spread it out as thin as we can. Almost like a jelly roll. And we're crumbling our fresh bacon here. This is good bacon. I had to test one out, of course. So we're just going to crumble this up. Put it all we got up. plenty of cheese. Just spread your cheese around. Quit escaping here. It's a good white Irish cheddar. The thing I love about Whole Foods is you can try stuff before you get it. Got that spray around. Now what we're going to do is roll this up. Come on, roll. And what I want to do is turn it onto this baking sheet. You want to be sure and seal this up because you don't want your cheese leaking out. So just round out the end here. Round out both the We on, Daddy? We on. All right. We're about to eat supper here at the Stokes house. It's Saturday night, and we made a cheeseburger meatloaf. Now, you want to be sure to have this handy kitchen gadget. It's a meat thermometer. And I cooked it for an hour, probably about an hour and ten minutes because we were making some mashed potatoes. But what we did is we wanted to make sure that the internal temperature was at least 160. And this temperature rose all the way up to 180. So this is good and done. So if you don't have one of these, it's a good item to have. I'm going to cut it right down the middle and see what we have in here. That looks good. We're going to slice this up and serve it. You could also put it on a bun and just have it like a hamburger. Um, so this is good and pretty right here. Let me lift that up for you. Look at all that marbling of the cheese. That looks so good. We made some mashed potatoes here and some fresh peas. And we're about to eat, Mike Stokes. This has been Cajun Cooking TV. It's Saturday night in Baton Rouge. We made a cheeseburger meatloaf. I hope you try it. So check out the full recipe. It's CajunCookingTV.com. Bye-bye.